Today is Tuesday, June 21 to 016. This six month old male poodle, Crypto Kid, has this uh, complaint of licking his front paws until they are all wet and uh, licking the floor obsessively. So the owner wanted to know what's the problem. So one reason could be an allergy to the dog food or teething, teething because he had this canine teeth obstructing the puppy canine teeth obstructing the permanent teeth permanent upper teeth they have been extracted now the left upper and and uh, right upper so this could be causing pain to his mouth so he's trying to lick the front paws and the floor to relieve his uh, pain in the gums so that's one reason otherwise you have a clipboard in the front paws to check for any wounds or, or inflammation there seems to be no wounds any wounds? I don't think it looks okay let's have to clip the nail short now then the other reason could be the ears, as you can see the owner is unable to pluck the ear hairs which is quite a considerable amount here and this could be very itchy both ears are affected with this excessive ear hairs and uh, as a result of this lack of drainage and ventilation in the ear canal the dog might might feel very uncomfortable and lick the front paws the back paws are okay it didn't lick the back paws there's no complaint about back paws being lick so now we just put the dog under slight sedation because it's very excitable and uh, extracted the front teeth so we turn the other side under Zolotil 100 0.2 ml uh, IV you can see that the teeth have been extracted now we will have to plug the ear hairs for the dog you can see it's very thick in the ear canal uh, it's bad uh, and uh, owners are able to do it haven't been to the groomer yet until the second vaccination the owner is quite uh, educated on, on this need for two vaccinations before sending out this folder to meet other dogs as the vaccines will protect against Distemper virus, parvo virus, and these are the two important viral diseases which can kill the dog or the puppy. So after that, we will pluck the ear hairs under the tail anesthesia, irrigate the ears, clean up the dirt. Now the dog weighs about how many kg? 3.4 so we give the tail 100 at uh, 0.2 which is about 50% so now we we'll plug the ear hairs first we have about 10 minutes of uh, anesthetic time here. salivation there's some salivation uh, so pull up the ear now normally, of course, the groomer will do it directly without sedation and uh, you can see it's very thick, where is it there? It's very thick, man. Thick and 
Not the goodness. Six months already of hair growth. Yeah. They don't hear hair plucking. Of course, you can use the fingers, but it's better to use the forceps. Clamp and twist. Clamp and twist, actually. Clamp and then twist 360 degrees and pull out at one shot. Yeah. That would be the ideal. Yeah. Because there are different ways of doing it. Yeah. Each groomer does his own way. Now, there's no pain because the dog is under sedation. If not, it's very painful. And the dog will be running away. Uh, further in as well. Further in the vertical canal, yeah. Use forceps to do it. Now, the duration lasts about uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. So we need to be a bit, a bit quick here. Yeah. Now the nails have to be clipped short as well. There's no uh, wounds. You can see there are no wounds. They look okay. You can see that further in yeah, there's a lot of hairs. So for this poodle, I spoke to the owner that the best is to have an operation open up the ear canal, the particular ear canal, it's called lateral ear canal resection, so that there is drainage. There is drainage from the the side of the of the wall of the particular ear canal. Any more inside? No deep in anymore? Deep in, deep in, deep inside. Any more hairs? Or? No more. No more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we go the other, the other side. Yeah. It's really a big job for for the owner to do it herself. So normally they ask the groomer to do it. It will come this side. Yeah. I can do this side. Uh, clamp and twist. Normally I do the go inside, clamp the whole thing, and twist the whole thing up 360 degrees and pull up fast. Uh, yeah. Of course, in in the dog not any size, you you got to do fast. Because it's very painful. So that that is the the way of uh, plucking out the ear hairs. Yeah. The six months of not plucking it, yeah. probably the dog feels very uh, uncomfortable with the infection. Come this side better. Why? You don't come this side. Come this side and do. Because normally you do against the canal yeah. so you can see as well the go in clamp pull clamp pull yeah. in the vertical canal clamp and pull uh. dog should be wake up soon so finally we have to clip the clip the nails not too short now the inner sack was full of oil full of uh, smelly brown oil spots. So there's a strong smell. So that one has been expressed. So these are the maintenance of the poodle. Now you see this poodle is a crypto kit. The other testicle is inside here or here. And so there's only one descended one. Only one descended testicle. So during neutering the other one must be removed otherwise it may become cancerous during old age the other one should be around here the inguinal area it should be on the left or right here okay it's become up already so we'll finish for now